Um, hi, this is Richard White again. Um, today I'm going to be tying a very basic caddis pattern, what I like to think of as the straggle caddis. Um, straggle caddis because the most of the body is made up of Semperfly's straggle string, this time a golden olive. Um, and besides using that, I'll be using some, oops, let's get this in, some Grizzly Soft Hackle, dyed olive for the legs, and then I'll be making a mix of olive and tan laser dub for the, um, for the head and the thorax. Um, so to weight the fly, I increasingly using uh, copper wire rather than lead. It's almost as, it's close to the density, uh, much denser than the, most of the lead free wires and it's fairly easy to work with. Matter of fact, I can work with it from a spool so I can build up the underbody, add weight and also build as I wrap, I can build and tighten this up. I can build up whatever taper I want on the fly. So do a number of turns. Here I'm using, um, the wire I'm using here is magnet wire, which is what most of the colored copper wires are. Um, and the magnet wire here is, let me check, 32 gauge, um, which is easy to work with. Um, it's flexible enough to add on. You notice I'm building up, not going all the way back. Each time I'm coming a little short of where I was in the previous, so I can actually build up a taper. So I'm going over again and again, each one just a little bit narrower than the previous. So starting wide, getting narrower and narrower as I go. I'm going to break off my excess. Um, then pin this with my thumbnail. I can helicopter this off and lay that off to the side. Now I can actually start tying in the more usual sense. So using a brown thread, start in front and I can use this if anything looks a little rough on the body. I can use this to smooth out rough spots where the copper is sitting. It'll also help pin the copper in place. Come around the bend a bit, because after all, it is caddis larva. And we want that nice curved body. So build in, fill in that transition behind so it's fairly smooth. Come back down. And then trim off the excess. Now for the um, abdomen, just using, as I said, the uh, Semperfly Golden Olive Straggle String. Um, this comes in a variety of colors, so obviously you could make this fly in one of many colors. And there are some similar products out there. Um, and as with anything else, I'm going to actually bring my thread back up so that I can bind it in tightly on the way down. Also keep the body smooth. So binding that in, coming all the way around to the very back of the fly, several good turns to secure it. Then I'm gonna come all the way back up to the end of the abdomen. And then I'm just literally, just simply going to wrap the straggle string. I can stroke it back every so often if I like. And it will give you a nice buggy looking body, a fair amount of flash. Um, for some caddises that might even resemble the gills. Um, and you can just wind this fairly quickly, touching turns as you come forward, as you would on pretty much any fly. When I get up to the end, the very front of the abdomen Turn this way, get a better look. Several turns down and come back over so it's extremely secure. Now, this is something I always do. Since both of these are hanging down, I put my 
finger to push the thread away. That it lets me see the that lets me see the um, the excess material and cut it without ever endangering my thread. Um, now I need some legs. So for legs, I'm going to pick a feather from this um, dyed grizzly, olive dyed grizzly. Try to find one with fibers the length I want. Pluck out a single feather, and that's a lot more than I need for this particular fly. I'm going to tie this in from the butt end, so I'll start by stripping off any excess, then clipping that off so I have just a little bit to use for attachment. Lay that on the side next to me. A number of times over it to hold it in place. This looks like it wants to roll off, so I'm just going to put one half hitch in so that that will not, this thread will not flop off the front. And now, without even bothering, I won't use, bother to use uh, hackle pliers here. It's simple enough. I'm just going to turn this hackle several times around, stroking back as I go to create a sense of legs on the fly. After about four turns, that looks about right to me. Several turns down in front of it. Clip off the excess. Now, just a little bit of dubbing in the front, so I'm just going to take a small amount of dubbing, and it does not take much here, it's a, not a very big fly. Take a small amount of tan dubbing. I'm going to do the same from the olive. Just take a small amount. Then I'm going to use my fingers to just pull on them, holding them both together parallel, and pull, and pull, and pull, which will Give a nice mix. Run out a little bit more thread. A little wax on the thread. Just to simplify getting the um, laser dub to stick. Give that a nice twist. Starts fairly small. I'm going to start forward and then start working my way back towards the hackle and I'm going to hold the hackle back as I do this. And that will help sweep the legs back. And then I can build up a fairly bulky thorax here. I have a few fibers there I don't particularly like so I'm going to in with my scissors, snip them off. Now what I prefer to do on any smaller fly is to put the head cement directly onto the thread so I don't have to worry so much about getting head cement into the eye of the fly. And then I can whip finish and the head cement will go exactly where I want it with no muss, no fuss. And we have a simple straggle caddis. And if you want the legs to sit back further or down further, you can manipulate them with your fingers so that there are more, more of them are down and towards the rear. And you have a very nice, simple, very effective little caddis. Thank you for watching. Um, please consider subscribing and leave any comments or questions down below. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.